and you'll learn that that's what helped me done to my family and my sister. Emotional testimony today from the family of a missing Portland woman found dead in the back seat of her car. They addressed the murder suspect in court today. 33-year-old John French is charged with murder and abuse of a corpse. He pleaded not guilty this afternoon. Good evening. Thanks for staying with us for K2 News at 5. I'm Ray Gasaway. And I'm Barry Mangold. 47-year-old Jeannie Enyart was, the la was last seen near her home in northeast Portland in late January. At the time of her death, she was engaged to French. K2's Emily Gersh is at the Multnomah County Justice Center with brand new information on this investigation. Emily, you spoke with the family yesterday before he was arrested and they believed he was involved. What happened when they saw him in court today? Yeah, Barry, the family was extremely emotional when they saw John French in court today. They told me that hours after we talked on Monday, detectives called to tell them that Inyard's body had been found in the backseat of her car. Her cause of death has been ruled a homicide by blunt force trauma to the neck. You need to look at me. You need to look at me. Look at me, John. Why? You came to our home. We ate together. We played games together. You swore at me on how much you loved her. And I thanked you for that. All she wanted was love and her life to be happy. That's all she was missing. And she ran into this person. The family of Jeannie Inyert speaking directly to the man accused of her murder in court Tuesday. Here's what led police to his arrest. On January 29th, police found Inyert's car crash in a snowbank on a rural road in Skamania County. And surveillance video from the same day shows French at the Skamania County Sheriff's Office, where he attempted to recover the car but wasn't able to because he's not the registered owner. On January 31st, Portland police searched the vehicle, which was still at the sheriff's office and that was when police say they found Inyard's body in the back seat underneath a blanket and several large items. Inyard's family says the couple was in the process of moving when she was reported missing on January 27th. Her family says when they talked to her that day the couple had plans to drive to Vancouver to collect some items from a storage unit. Throughout the last week French had been posting regularly on Facebook about her disappearance asking for the public's help in finding her. Court documents reveal he told police he didn't remember driving in Yurt's car to Skamania County or attempting to recover it. He's now being held in jail throughout the duration of this trial and the family didn't hold back when they were given the opportunity to make statements. He took my mother away from me and I can explain to you guys the pain that I feel every day and you will learn that that's what helpful you've done to my family and my sister. French is due back in court on February 14th. Live in downtown Portland tonight, Emily Gersh, K2 News. All right, Emily, thank you.